Hello again, this is Shekhar Babu, talking to you from Sadhana Forest, India. Today, Sadhana Forest is celebrating 16 years, 16 years of growth and transformation from a completely barren land into this beautiful, amazing forest. I'm walking through this amazing forest right now, enjoying every step, breathing excellent fresh air. What a beautiful moment! I found out that this process of recreating of the forest involved thousands of people who volunteered and gave the love and energy to the land. What I have also learned is that the transformation is not only of the forest itself but the people who were involved in this unbelievable work have realized that they were growing along with the forest. I would like to share with you some of these amazing stories. Hi, I'm Velviri from a village called Kulapalayam, which is about seven kilometers away from Savannah Forest. Hi, my name is Katie. Hi everyone. First, let me say happy birthday and that I miss you all. Hi, I'm Yorit. Hello, I'm Gary from London, England. I was about 11 or 12 years when I went to Sadhana Forest for the first time and I used to cycle all the way from my village to there. And I went to Sadhana Forest for the first time in 2004 in the autumn during the monsoon with my nine-year-old daughter. I was traveling on my own in India with my daughter for the first time. I came to India to visit my son, who seems to be making his uh, home in Sadhana Forest. Um... I came to Sadhana Forest on 19 December 2003 with my husband and my three years old daughter. Sadhana Forest for me is the place where I was reborn in a way. The very first day we went to Sadhana Forest and we experienced the unschooling life. It, like, it was such an eye-opener for me. Because I really understood the difference between um, unschooling and any type of school, be it, be it the most free, the most alternative school. Oh, it was close to one year down the line or some months after uh, Abiram had uh, left for India. We did not uh, we did not communicate uh, constantly, but I remember him texting me and uh, asking me, do you remember James? Uh, this is the family from India, and uh, I want to tell you some good news. Uh, we have gotten money to buy the land, and I'm planning to come back to Kenya. Yorita Naviram and Osha greeted me with open arms and welcomed me as part of the family and right from the start I felt very much at home and very much like I belonged. Which you come to a place that is so pure where you live such simple life and you waste so little and people are all striving to be more compassionate for the world. It really makes you see very clearly where are the places that are hard for you to be kind. Um, being disabled and, and relying on a mobility scooter um, I, I was a little bit hesitant um, traveling to India and staying in the forest on my own. I needn't have worried. Everywhere I went, everyone I met was more than happy to help me. And, and it was great being in a non-judgmental community where everyone looks after everyone else. Absolutely brilliant. Um, every day was magical. Um, uh, Yorit and, uh, and, and the children arrived first and then a few days Abiram came and we traveled back to, we traveled again to uh, Samburu and again we went through quite a, a long process with the county government, with the community 
uh, with uh, searching for the land and getting documentation done. I think done, you know. the best thing that Sedna Forest has done for me is teach me how to be a more aware, kinder, more compassionate person. When asked the question, what does Sadna Forest mean to me or how has it impacted my life? The answer is that it is something intangible, meaning that it is larger than myself and yet somehow it's inextricably combined with who I am and it's something that I can't actually define or separate from myself. It created and helped shape purpose and meaning, clarity and wisdom, so many things that I needed. This is what Sadhana Forest means for me. It is a place which will affect, if not completely, change your life. Sadhana Forest changed my life. And so I can say that Sadhana has really changed my life, including uh, what I believe in, and also being sure that I can always get to where I want to, to be. Um, this has been me and uh, what I'm doing currently is partly because of the encouragement and the lessons that I learned at Sunday. And When I saw all the activities which were going in there, I was really influenced by them and I thought of implementing it in my own life. So now while handling the resources, especially water, I'm really careful with it. So the question uh, in what sense a Sadhana forest is present in my life is like asking a person in what sense, in what way, his birth is present in his life. And my simple answer would be in every sense, in every way, it is the source, it is the beginning of my journey of new life. And. Uh... So Sadhana Forest helped me to solve all these doubts and worries about the future, about education. And as we started this journey of unschooling, we are until now so happy about our decision. And that even I, I started thinking how at all people came to the idea to do things without children, to put them aside, to separate them. It's, um, of course one needs to adjust a little bit one's life, but uh, it's so much joy and fun to do things together with the children and this is what Sadhana Forest gave us. And uh, I feel very fortunate and blessed to be part of a transformation of a piece of land. To be there when the water were gushing out of our well. To be there when the trees became taller than us. To give birth to our second daughter and to raise two beautiful girls so close to nature and to share my home with thousands of people and animals. What I learned from Sedana Forest was that actually we don't need very much to be happy because I was very happy there. I felt very content, in fact, more content than I'd felt for a long time. My relationship with my daughter, which had been quite disconnected for some years due to a hectic, being a hectic single parent, really um, healed and transformed through that experience of just being together and working together and sharing food together and playing together and having time together, not just the two of us, but in community with other supportive, caring and interesting adults from all over the world. I learned that those things are the most important things in life. So I think overall, Sadna Forest made my heart more full of love for the world and made it easier for me to be compassionate and loving. It gave me the space to learn so many meaningful, powerful things on, on, on life. I learned about Seva, I learned about consciousness. Uh, parenting, education, relationship, diet, veganism, and so much more. And I think even more important than that, it gave me the space to unlearn many conditions, many projections from my past life. Uh, so I was able to renounce my previous identity. And for that, I am full of appreciation and gratitude. So thank you from the bottom of my heart and the center of my being. Thank you, Sadhana Forest, for being my womb. And thank you, my dearest friends, Aviram and Yurit, for being my beautiful midwives. 
So I came away, um, I've since then become vegan um, and was very inspired by the philosophies and, and the principles um, underpinning the community. So I feel like Sadhana Forest is, is part, very much part of who I am now. Um, I keep a piece of Sadhana Forest in my heart always. So thank you. Sadhana Forest became our middle child. We are very proud parents to our 16 year old teenager. And we are happy to continue the journey and support it growing and becoming fully mature. Reality constantly changes and sudden a forest should never stop being relevant to the current situation. When I think of the Dana forest, I always think of the quote of Rumi, find the path which will demand your whole being. So this is the Sadhana forest. Not easy to, not, not easy to achieve these ideals, but that is why there is so much space and room to grow for everybody. I'd say most importantly though, is that it gave me some family. And that, that's something really valuable. So thank you. Happy birthday. I love you all. I invite you to be part of the sustaining members of Southern Forest.